Good morning everyone, it is Thursday and today you and I are going to talk a little bit about Go and Python. So let's get into it. Now when you're comparing these two languages it's one of those apples and oranges comparison again but it's actually a very I think this is a very nice apple, apples and oranges comparison because these two languages at least per my, from my perspective have two things about them that is almost char characteristic for them it's this type of it's the, these they have very in my opinion very strong clear use case it's not like you know node node.js and php where it's like it's you know you can stretch it and kind of see the value of one over the other i actually had to like i made a video about them those languages and i actually had to really think about it. i did find a find one thing that i actually thought was really really nice about php over node and vice versa but this isn't a hard one for me this is easy so let's start with talking about Python. So Python is a interpreted language or a scripting language, if, if you will, which is probably the most beginner friendly or rather one of the most beginner friendly languages out there. It has a little bit of an own take on languages uh, or la as a language. It's, uh, it has a, as far as, you know, the, the general consensus is that it's a very nice language to work with. It's very clear, it's for enforcing formatting, things of that nature. It's also very, very easy to get started with. You can go out on the, basically go out on the web today and start learning it. And, you know, it doesn't compile, it just runs. So re all you really need to do is to run, actually install Python and then you have your interpreter and you can start writing Python in basically any editor you want. And the biggest strength of Python, and I actually think that this is actually something I don't really know why this has happened, but I'm very glad that there is a, that it has. So Python, for for some reason, is the most popular language for computer scientists when it comes to like. And I'm I'm not saying the okay, just take what I'm saying with a pinch of salt. But in general, all the jobs that I've been like been basically talking to people about like different computer science stuff like and I have actually looked into a few computer science occupations and like what the requirement are requirements are usually it's in python and this is not the only use case for python but it is in my opinion the thing that python does better than anybody else it does machine learning I, I'm not saying better better like there are languages that are more performant but python has a really healthy community around these around machine learning and, and basically computer science all the computer science courses I've taken and I've taken three or four now are in Python all of them every single one of them is in Python everything from machine learning to introduction to computer science all of it is in Python and it's actually funny because I saw the other day in an article that Python has gone past in terms of popularity on Stack Overflow JavaScript and you may not think that's a big deal but that is a really really big deal it's a really big deal when something passes JavaScript because JavaScript is as I probably said before the largest language in the world it, passing that in any field and especially when it comes to search queries and stuff like that that is significant I mean it was a really big deal when JavaScript passed Java uh, on Google as the most searched for language and that wasn't all that long ago Cool, so that's probably the best thing about Python, in my opinion anyway. And then we have Go, which is a compiled language, which basically means that you can compile it down to a binary and it's gonna execute virtually on the hardware, like it's binary code. And then apart from that, it's a, you know, it's a system level language. It is uh, it's pretty much the most powerful thing around. I actually was telling my, I, at my at my job just actually just yesterday, I was talking to my colleague who is a little bit of a conservative Java Java developer. He you know he's an extreme sporter and he loves coding, but you know he has other interests as well. So he's not this you know zealous fanatic of programming who like spends all his time reading binary code. And we were talking, and so basically I, he asked me about Go, and I said like and virtually you know. He asked, okay, what, what's so cool about Go? And I said, well, 
it has types it has and now goland is official so intellij are like that's what they're going to call it there's an ide for it because yeah it seems to me at least that they're fo that they're betting pretty hard on, on, on uh, that's what it's going to be called i'm not going to say too much about it but there's a ide for it it's type and it's a system level language and it has web like higher level apis it's it's basically, to me, the next iteration of C++. It's one level higher than that. And so he, and you know, he kind of smiled and like, yeah, that sounds pretty cool. And I said, well, yeah, this is really, really cool because, you know, it has parallel program, like parallel processing and stuff of that nature as well. And so I told them, like, if, if, everything, if, they, if they, they play their cards, cards right, there would be very little reason for you to use anything else on the server because the fact of the matter is that and, uh, you know this is me being very opinionated sorry about that but the fact of the matter is that no programming language is going to be more powerful than a system level programming language those are the most powerful languages for a reason they have give, they give you full access to everything in the computer python does not have that at least not readily accessible so does P php does not have that either no javascript doesn't have that either but it's kind of it's the argument that i've made between javascript and Py and go go can do things that you can't do in javascript javascript can do th is running in the browser therefore you know it can do something that go can't do and this is the same thing with python and go go is powerful in the sense that you can do almost anything with it python has an extremely well developed library set for machine learning and basically it's a community benefit to using python so that, that those are the biggest benefits to me now when would i choose one over the other and hopefully this is you know this won't come as a surprise now that i've been talking but if you're learning machine learning if you're interested in computer science look at python because it's great for that and there is so much content oriented around python for this if you are interested in learning something that I think will be probably one of the next big languages which will give you like if especially if you know something ahead of time if you already know programming then I urge you to look at Go. Go is probably right now one of the most powerful languages around and it's gaining popularity really really fast. So I personally would say computer science anything like that go with Python. If you do something else and the comparison between these two languages I would go with Go because Go right now has it has a lot of traction and a lot of popularity and I see it becoming probably one, I'm not going to say too much but I think it can actually become one of the bigger languages around the it, everything is there it has, has all all like everything it needs to really become this big big bang i mean in some ways it's already happened if you think about it go has built is the system, language that built docker and kubernetes and go, do, basically all of the modern development world runs on these technologies so there you are but between the two summarizing python go with python if you're into machine learning if you're into computer science go with go otherwise that's at least my take on matters